What's going on guys? This is Crossfit Gaming 74. I'm back with some more Mega Man X4 content. And as you can see here, we've killed four of the bosses with the uh, X. And we've got two of his armor parts. So he he's almost set up. He just needs to kill four more bosses. And then he'll be a big boy. He'll have like all the powers in the universe. Um, but before we do that, we got to fight a mini boss. Let's go take him out. Sir, it's a message from the Colonel. X, I'll wait for you at Memorial Hall. Make sure you show up on time. Sir, this must be a trap. Perhaps, but I won't run this time. Ready. So yeah, he shows up at the Memorial Hall. It's like this black screen with like this, you know, techno floor on the bottom here. Pretty lazy level, I gotta be honest. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm running forward and there's no enemies. Uh, yeah, that was it for Memorial Hall. Now it's on to the boss. <laughs> so yeah, he just show, shines a light on you, and yeah, it's pretty dramatic. Okay, Colonel, stop this foolishness now. Never. Colonel, please think this over. The Repla Force must be independent. Our battle will determine this. I've been waiting to fight with you. So, yeah. Colonel tries to kill us. We gotta avoid his um, sword strikes. He's gotta try and like jump in the air. Um, he starts off pretty easy. You know, he just does this pattern over and over. And yeah, you just quickly take him out, and that's the end of that. Avoiding the sword strikes can be tricky because he just kind of like shows up. You have to get the timing just right like that But uh, these blue lasers right here are super easy to dodge um, They're very slow. You can just easily just jump over them This fight's um, okay. I like it because it gives uh, the colonel more like personality It shows off, you know, he's this like goofier side like he puts on a show for uh, X like he shines uh, the light on you and then on himself, making it seem like it's this grand epic battle and really it's just a petty argument. It's funny. I also like how when the lights um, turn on, you can see like this um, background right here with the Repl Force. Not sure what that's supposed to be. I think it's like the um, General's throne room, like when he's talking to his troops that we saw in the um, earlier parts of this Let's Play. That's pretty neat. Takes forever though. You know, you just want to kill a guy and move on with your life, but he keeps, you know, striking sword beams at you, man. And it just takes forever. It makes you angry. It makes you like uh, X over there. Impressive, but the result won't be the same next time. Until then, Colonel! So, yeah, we just uh, beat up the Colonel. We're going to see him again next time. And we got four more bosses to kill with the X. So, let's go right here. We've got these four right here. And we're going to take out, let's see, Storm L. That's our last uh, guy on top. After that, I'm done with X. I'm just going to be focus focusing on zero from here on out. Storm Owl. Very weird, very weird way he said that. <laughs> you ever notice that a lot of the people in this game, like they talk like with bad, bad British accents? Never really understood that. I think um, I'd say my favorite voice actor for this game is probably like uh, Sigma. Like even though he's kind of goofy as well, I kind of like his uh, line delivery. When he's uh, fighting against Zero in a cutscene later, that that's like my favorite part from them. Okay. So as you can see here with uh, Storm Owl's place, he's like this... Um, um, God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> this Air Force guy, yeah, we'll go with that. So yeah, he's like this Air Force guy. He's got goofy, like, hammerhead shark guys in the background. They're all flying to kill off the humans. They're trying to, like, 
wage war against them. And so, yeah, they've got these uh, satellites here from, like, Independence Day all over the place. They've got uh, blue warships that shoot missiles at you. Um, yeah, that was part one. Now off to part two. And then right here, you've got, like, these owl ships right here in the background. For some reason, they're not flying up. It's only, like, the hammerhead sharks. I always thought that was kind of strange. And then you've got these um, eyeball guys who shoot, like, giant laser beams at you. Um, they don't hit too hard, but you want to, like, avoid them. Just, like, use these ladders for help. Okay. I just had to wait for this platform right here. If I just, you know, hit the spikes, I would have just died instantly. Now, I killed a web spider. So, right here, up here, is, like, the um, armor tank. So, we need to shoot it. And there's our armor part. Trust me, I made that look super easy. It's not. <laughs> you could charge up to four blasts a time with the Zon module. It takes a while to charge, but you can fire a charge shot anytime you so wish with it. The Zon module is also changeable. Enter this capsule to change parts. <laughs> Sorry about the DSP snort. <laughs> but yeah. This part is uh, cool because unlike the other armor parts that just disappear, like these capsules I mean, um, what's cool about this is that let's say you don't like this gun, right? You can come back to Storm Owl's place and you can get like another gun instead. So I'm showing off the uh, four shots right here. Um, as you can see here, it's not like very epic. All you get is like these four like charge shots. You just shoot them, boom, 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 boom. And, yeah, not very flashy, not very epic. It does, you know, good damage, it's alright, but, I mean, it's kind of lame, really. Right over here is the better arm cannon. And this is the uh, plasma shot. What this does is show off, like, a gigantic fireball at the enemies. And it does, like, a ton of damage. Also makes your gloves red for some reason. So, yeah, much better. All right, enough with this. We're done with the arm parts. Thank you. Go away, creepy Santa Claus man. All right. So there's another mini boss. We gotta destroy an eyeball. And yeah, this thing does a ton of damage against the eye. Just gotta like clear it and then bam. Look at that. Yeah. The annoying part is that when it keeps like closing its eye, you gotta like, keep recharging it over and over. You just gotta time it like exactly right. But yeah, not too hard. Very easy fight. Just gotta get past it. And that's the end of his level. Now on to Storm L. How dare you destroy my units? You'll pay for this with your life. The story of Owl is kind of hard. Um, he flies around the air. He does like dive moves on you. He's gonna try and like grab you and do a ton of damage. So you just gotta like avoid him. See right here. So right, right there. He just took off like a quarter of my health. Right there, he's being a butthead and just flying where he wants. So his weakness is uh, aiming laser. That's the one we got from uh, Cyber Peacock. That's another move he does where he does like darts in the air. Okay, this does a ton of damage on him. Okay. I slide in like goof. Right there, he was gonna show off like a tornado move, but uh, intercepted him. And uh, yeah, he's done. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Ever. Okay, um, that's the end of this part. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And if you don't, you'll end up like Storm L. See us. Bye.